Welcome back everyone to Friday the 13th, but not in the way that you'd think. We are doing the virtual cabin, which is like super freaking cool. There's like all kinds of like Easter eggs and shit in here. And like a sneak peek of what we would have gotten in the game had they been able to work on it a little bit more. It would have been freaking sick, but we never made it that far, unfortunately. So this is like the only surviving, like, little thing that we got left. Oh, yay, I love that, uh, I love that it reset. Cause I've already done this before, but I had to look up a guide. I didn't, I didn't remember ex quite exactly how to do this, but I think I remember a little bit. So, welcome to Virtual Cabin. There's all kinds of little neat things around here you can learn all about Friday the Thirteenth by like literally picking up just about anything. It tells you about the movies, tells you about the production, tells you about the video game production, like literally just about everything Friday 13th. This guy right here, he actually got put in the game. Well, that was pretty cool. What the hell is this? Oh. Anywho, let's just straight on with it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to check for updates. And the password is Mother Wait, with a capital, my bad. I'll clear this. Oh, there we go. Capital N, my bad. Capital M Mother There we go Let's go Now we can actually do a whole lot of crazy stuff This mask My mask. I'll be taking that yoink. And there's more in here somewhere. Where's the rest of them? Here's another one. Yoink. Ah. the other mass at? There is one kind of upstairs. I do believe that's yeah, in here. But all uh, got it. And Is there one in here? Maybe not. Where well, you got the one from? Off snake. I could have swore there was like 
one more mask. No, oh, maybe I was wrong. Damn. Okay, so this is where, like, stuff gets a little bit tricky. So you gotta place these in, like, a certain order. And I believe it starts with this one, and... is <laughs> to put the, like the real messed up one right here instead or maybe I swap this put that there and put that there, and put this here, no, we'll put that one there, that one there, no, uh, so you start from part three, so that one does go there, I really thought I could get this one right, but I, I just, I can't remember it, bro. This is, this is where shit gets tricky. Let's see, F13, virtual cabin walkthrough. leaving part five out so this is part three part four part five so we do leave that out so this is a recasted jason maybe i take that one and put this one here instead and then move no Oh, that ain't it either. So I know the first one's right. Jason Takes Manhattan, I think, was the fourth movie. So... I remember now, I had to look up a picture. What order do they go in? So this one, no not this one, this one goes here and then this one goes there and the somewhat fucked up one goes here and then this one and then that one, booyah.
Mine. Well, that worked. Okay, now we gotta get some dioramas. So, take all these. And there's another one right here. So let's see. Go back to the wheelchair. You want Alley on the far left. Okay. Chris on the right. And white pants, Jason. Right there. All right, that one's done. Jessica on the left. Jason in the middle, and then cut all. Gotta grab a blue ball cap right here. Okay, gotta go to the kids' room. Oh! It's a spider! Oh god! I'll be taking that, you ain't. Alright, so... Badge goes here. Across the hall, we put the yo yo here. Red bandana in the wheelchair room. Wait. Oh, there it is. And then the one in the kitchen gets the ball cap. Oh, it's the one kind of hidden away in this room. Alright, here you go. Ta-da! Now we just gotta make a phone call. We gotta call someone spooky. God, these phones are so old. Are we or we dial one five 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 three four two. Nine two seven seven. Well, I don't know where he is, but I stole your patch, though. Ha ha! Well, this is where <clears throat> this is where things get really spooky. You about to see some scary stuff, man? 
Ta-da! Look at all this. If one Jason wasn't enough, how about like eight of them? Got this dude, part two. And we got part three. Uh, Jason lives. The final chapter. The new blood. Jason takes Manhattan. That one was silly. This is the final Friday. And this one was made for the game. I think only one person ever got that. It was exclusive reward for backers that supported the game early on. So like, few people have those. That is one cool ass face and you can't deny. Hello? Who is it? You can bring him back, you know. There's always a way. Ah! Well, there you go. There's part one right there. Now, now we move straight on to part two. I wish they would have got to continue on with this. Because, like, at the end of this, you're going to see, like, a teaser of what we would have got in this game. If they'd have been able to keep updating it. But they could have added so much more. There was way more Jasons than the one that they're going to tease here at the end. They could have added so much stuff to this game. It would have been crazy. All right, part two is pretty, uh, this is where the stuff starts getting kind of real. New game plus added. All right, so very first thing we want to go do is change the date. And we change the date to June 13th. 1979 Like so, like so That's how you know you done something right Now you gotta go down and answer the phone again Someone's calling Who is it? Axe in the wall. Uh. Okay. All right. We gotta go upstairs. Something is uh running amok here. Oh God! One of them got out. Uh oh. There was an imposter among us. Oh God. Everyone's dead. Yep, there he is. No, he killed the backer of the game. He got his likeness in here and they killed him, bro. No. Oh, God. Alright, I think he went back downstairs, right? Yeah, yeah, he went back downstairs. The other couple probably got killed. Oh yeah. GG's. I just wanna take that key from you, dude.
But don't worry though, everyone out here is just big chillin'. They didn't see a dang thing. They didn't hear all that. They didn't see all that. They're just out here just having a grand old time. No care in the world. Okay, so from here, we gotta go to the shed. Yeah, here we go. Grab the shovel. And we gotta enter a code on this fridge. And the code is 5312. Ta da! Someone put her on ice. Go home to mommy, Jason. You know the way. All right, now this part right here, guys, is like uh, very, very tricky because if you mess up on this, he will kill you, and he ain't gonna kill you just once. He's gonna kill you each and every time. So, if you're using this as a walkthrough. Pay very, very close attention to these next steps. These are very important. So when you go up here, you're going to see this machete on the ground. And it's pointing this way. If you venture off this path of where this bl blade is pointing to, you will die. I promise you that. So, just follow the blade. And eventually, you'll see this. And the arrow is pointing this way. You go straight ahead and you'll see a glowing arrow right here so now you want to face the way that this part is pointing to so walk straight ahead and you'll see a good old friendly family of ducks sitting here they're all walking in this direction so you go this way And voila, you see a little gray site here. And you get a badge. Ta-da. And just to prove to you guys I wasn't kidding that you are you will die if you venture off this path. Watch this. See the blades pointing? I'm gonna walk this way instead. Yeah, you uh... Yeah, you definitely don't want to ignore the clues there. And Jason does not like people who ignore his clues. Luckily, though, you don't really lose anything from doing that. You just get re-teleported back outside. Nothing too major. Now, next part. Go over here. And you'll see this another grave over here. We dig it up. Who's inside the box? Uh, there's like a zombified Jason. Now, you may you may think this is a really stupid idea, as you all probably know Jason. But the whole goal here is we must bring this zombified husk of a man back to life. The way you do that is somewhere along this fence post there is this thing. Grab it, take it, and we stab it right through him. Literal Frankenstein. Who the hell woke me up from my slumber? It was you! The dead man! And he literally does kill you for this. Still got this Jason in game. This Jason's kinda cool. 
But it, it's required though, it's required because we get this get this thing that he was sleeping on. Now I've got one more quest for you on this little adventure. For this chapter at least. All the way up here we got the boy himself. His little old rusty ass shack up here. We can go up here and we put his mother's head back in its good old home. home. There you go. You did good. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. <laughs> I don't know why the music picked up there so much. Like, nothing happened. I was trying to scare you, make it think, oh god, Jason's coming, we, 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 we had his mother's head, he's, he's pissed, but no. He just killed everybody while we were gone. Everybody's dead now. But yeah, these, uh, these guys don't have infinite lives like we do, unfortunately. But the whole purpose of all this badge collecting was we put them all in here. And it unlocks a gas tank. And we use... Now this is crucial, believe it or not. You've got to listen to this recording before you hop on the boat. Just believe me. It's crucial. So tell me about when you were making the game. Did you have any, like, weird glitches or strange bugs that you found? Late in development, we had this bug. We swore it was like the spirit of Jason coming into the game or something. But sometimes during a match, these invisible holes would generate. And if you manage to fall through one, you'd end up in this weird, untextured area of the map. It was not like an area we physically created, but um, like made of bits of our assets. Eventually, you'd be shot up high into the air and killed by Jason in the sky. Luckily, we were able to get it out before CERT, but it was a tough one. How were you able to find it? We had this debug code that would show us the holes in the map. That helped us hunt them down. What was the debug code? You know, it's the same code everyone uses when they need to input a secret code in a video game. I mean, just remember back when we were kids. It's probably better for legal that way. Yeah, I don't think that they're legally allowed to say what the code is outright, but you, you'll know the code when we get there. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. The police! Save me! Get me out of here! Oh god! Virtual cabin completed again. But wait, there's more. There's one final chapter in all this. This is the best one right here. You're going to be able to see the Jason we never got to have in this game. In this chapter. It's the whole point of doing all this. Just for the big reveal. Now this part's pretty dang fun though. This is where things go really 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 wild. This is... Alright, so now, you load back in, and the very first thing you want to do is enter the good old Konami code. And it is like, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, circle, X, right, wait a minute. Using D-pad punching. Oh no, I got it right. It's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, circle A. Right? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. Yeah, there we go. Alright, cool. So, now we got this debug menu. 
So we want to go to map collision and turn it on. Ta da! And we want to go to show, turn show collision. Oh yeah, wait. Show collision is on and we want to yeah all right both these are on okay we can close the debug menu you just need to make sure that show and all that is on all right go to the wheelchair room oh wait I might have done this wrong. Hold on. Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right. Circle, okay. Go to map collision. Off. Okay, it was off. Show collision, leave on. Map collision, turn off. Okay. Then you close the debug menu. Now, this is where the fun begins. Walk right through it. We spent a lot of time tuning in the game to make sure it was fun to play as a counselor, and we knew we had it when... <laughs> Funny guys, hilarious. How long have you been waiting to play that for? Anyways, we finally... Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> That's dope. You got me. Okay, I don't think it's a joke, bro. Well, rip, uh, rip game, rip game developer. <laughs> Alright, I won't lie. That, that's a bit, that's a bit freaking spooky. If I didn't know what to expect, that would have scared the living hell out of me. I ain't gonna lie. That is awful. Alright, this is the unstable build. Are you ready for the fun stuff? Oh god. That's that boy. That's the that's the game dev. He dead, bro. You gotta collect all these badges right here. And they lead straight into the basement. Now, I believe, if I remember right, you take this badge, you take this one, and then this one. Yep. Alright. This guy's alive. He's choking us out. It's all right though. We good. We still alive. Oh god, everything's like this. Going so horribly. The whole game is broken. All right, here's the moment you've all been waiting for right here. This is it. What is this place? God, I wish we would have got this in the actual game. <laughs> Look at this. We could have had this map, man. This is going to be a whole new map. This is the Grendel. For those of you who watch all the movies, I'm pretty sure you know where we're at right now. Oh, there he is. Jason X, baby.
You know, I hated the movie, but that Jason is pretty dang sick, though. You can't deny. His design is really cool. And that was going to be the next Jason we got. That was going to be a whole new map, bro. We had all that. It was going to be so freaking cool. And they couldn't keep updating the game. But they made all that to kind of tease what they were working on. That whole map, new Jason, bro. God, it would have been so sick. I need that in my life. So yeah, that was uh, basically just a little short walkthrough of the virtual cabin. Little teaser there at the end. Don't know uh, how many people knew about that or not, but I thought it was pretty cool. Pretty fun stuff. And... This will be going up on YouTube, by the way, if you ever, if you miss part of it and you need to go back and, like, watch some of it, try to do this yourself. It'll be up there, so, take it easy, guys. It's, like, 3 in the morning. I'm gonna get me some of that good, good sleep. Have a good night, everybody, and stay spooky.